like a resort, right? It does seem like a resort. Yeah. Uh, the way they do Feng Shui is my house is I use, if you can see, you can notice that it's similar to the to the building or or the thing that been built before 2000 or 1000 years ago. So it has to be symmetry because the way that symmetry is going to make the element work properly because when you, at that time, you don't have electric. So if you don't have electric, you have to use wind and light and everything in the in the proper way. Otherwise, you're not going to have wind inside, so you're going to get so hot. And when it's winter, it's going to get so cold. So that's why a lot of people have to learn how how to control, not to control, to understand the nature and try to use it as much as possible. So, this is the way you walk in. You can see the stairs. I have a lot of steps. Actually, in the present time, a lot of people say that to have too many steps like this is not so good. But in the past, the way that they do like this, because when the wind moves, the wind only can move when something attached to it, not, not wind itself can move. So the way that we have level, it's also helping that. It's going to be so difficult to explain, but that's the way it is. And I have everything symmetry, so <coughs> both sides going to have the same. This one's going to be for my kids. That one for the kitchen. Why I do like this is because inside, when you have a house, the best place to stay, if in the past, the king will live in the middle or in the back, not in the front. In the front is going to be the people that are going to die first. But in the present time, the people that live in the front, you're going to get up so early, you cannot sleep, even you want to, you're going to be so tired. But if for a kid, it's good because they're still alert. They still want to learn a new thing. They still want to move around. They still, you know, especially if you can see your own kid, you're going to see that when the kids on uh, when it's the weekend, you're going to see that they get up so early. But in the day, uh, Sunday, Monday, you're going to see them that they want to get up late and they want to be lazy. But their nature, they want to play. They don't want to sleep. So most of the time, that's why I put my baby or my children in the front. If you see inside, it's also the symmetry. Both sides have to be the same. I adjust, but it still be the same. Before my my son will grow up, I doesn't have outside. I only make the floor, but I didn't make it room because I feel like when they grow up, when you have like a like a horseshoe, when you have a building like that, it make both sides become like independent. They're not gonna. They're going to be so confident and so independent. But when you merge them like that, they're going to love each other. So when they were young, I only do this room after my son turned 13. At that time, my son, it's already both be confident and already have the best personality. That's why I build this room after my son already grew up. So he already have the confidence and um, become like the person that, you know, when they love each other, if they love each other since they were young, then they will not gonna want to be separate and they're not gonna want to be, I love my son to be, uh, want to be the winning, but have to win from him himself not other people but if I make them love each other they're not they're not gonna be the person that want to fight that's why I never build this <laughs>
thing. You can see that I have this. Uh, if you think about uh, Nakhon Wat, right? Angkor Wat. In the middle, I have two sides like this, and then you have big, big house that go the same area, same amount, but go from that side to, to the other side, same as this building and this building. So it's still symmetry. And both, I make it symmetry as well. This one is my uh, library. And this one is, what am I going to say? Just forget about this. It kind of not beautiful and very messy. This is one thing that I really want everyone to know. I'm not going to show you guys like this, though. This is the way that I do my bathroom. This is the most important, especially in Thailand. We build a house. Normally, you shouldn't have your bathroom or toilet close to your bedroom because when you sleep, you have to know that in the toilet or the shower, when you take a shower, it also have disease, uh, bacteria, a lot of stuff like that. And when the sun touch or the heat come up, then it, it what do you call it? It's Evaporate? Yes. So it makes uh, the disease and everything come in to your bedroom and make you get the, your kids or yourself get sick, like allergic to that. So if you really want to do the toilets, especially in Asia or, or in the country that it's so hot, you should have a big door to open it so it can release all the humid and, and all the bacteria and everything, make it go away so you don't get sick. And also try, like me, I separate the bathroom and toilet and my bedroom. Turn away, walk along, watch my body turn to stone. I need to know where is your heart, just so I can find my Never tell anyone is my backyard. I use this building to be the one who cut between a human world and the other world. <laughs> what I'm gonna say is, um, I have to say that I didn't. I before I don't have religions. I try to be Christians, and then I also study about the uh, Hindu or Muslim, but then why I come up with Buddha. I don't care about Buddhism as well, but I love Buddha words because a lot of things that he been teaching me, it explain nearly every question or every problem that I have. So I, I'm not follow him because he also teach that we shouldn't be believe in him or or trust him but we should learn and and understand it by ourselves so that's why for me this place I also do it like cutting when you walk in this step then you are no longer with the sin for your life anymore you know when you walk here you no longer want you no longer suffer you no longer seek everything after you step in i already do the way that i play you're gonna see that it have two circles in the middle and if someone can see you can see that the tree in this area that close to to that building that i call humans here, only half of it, you can see that the tree is go so beautiful and so alive. But if you go to the other side, to the other circle, you can see that these ones, it's not. It's, it's become something that is dry and quiet and 
like dead, like 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 dry, right?、Mm. It's because these two circle, it also a symbol, and also for me, I put element in the way of like a life of circle. You know, human born and then leave. And then suffer, and then die, and then born again, become like this infinity, never stop. So that's why I do this exactly. What the circle of life is, and they generate a lot of power. So a lot of ceremony that I do, I will do it here, and in the middle, when I do the ceremony for the moon and the sun. Because this one, I use like I calculate it, and I make the position that I can use the anger from the moon and the sun at the special time. So when I do ceremony, it will work. That's what I believe. This is the Buddha room. It's a place that I always meditate. I meditate every day. Since I were young, up until now, never once, never one day missing, never. So I ooh, my son is here. What are you doing? Oh, okay. This one also have the meaning. It's about the Buddha. I think we already make a video like this that、mm. we have Buddha, right? Before Buddha was born, and then Buddha born, and then Buddha come, and then he died, right? So this is all about it, and that thing is Buddha word. I have to say that every book in the library or in here, every book I read, I read a lot. In one month before, before I met you. I read like 80 book per month. Now because I get so sick, so I didn't read that much anymore. That's about it. That's all of my house, I think. Oh, by the way, the tree that you see, every tree is my medicine. I use this tree. To heal a lot of people, including myself.